So hi guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, as you can see from the title and the screen here, I'm going to be reviewing this Samsung QLED uh, sorry, 65 inch TV. So this one's a 65 inch, uh, is the Q80T or Q80T model. I got this about um, two years ago. I got it for Black Friday in 2018. So it's not the 2020 model, but yeah so let's go to the home page so as you can see this is the home page this is how it looks like so this is a review of how it is after two years pretty much good you know because some people have said that sometimes the screen burns so for example if you leave it on like this exact screen for too long then the thing at the bottom might burn onto the tv but so far it's been been all right it's been very good obviously you've got youtube netflix internet and a lot of other stuff as well and you can install apps on it as well so you've got the movie uh, movie mode you've got the dynamic mode standard natural uh, movie we keep to, uh, we tend to keep it on the uh, movie <coughs> picture mode and then you got your amplifier, you got your TV speaker. Obviously, um, I saw a deal recently where you, if you buy a TV, you get like a little soundbar for free. I was meant to get a soundbar for quite a while, but I haven't got it yet. So I might get it for um, what's it called, Boxing Day later on this year. You got your notifications, and also where's where's the you got your ambient, your yeah, ambient mode as well. So as you can see here, if I go into here, the time should come up as well. Yeah, you got the time, the weather. And everything else as well let's go into a different mode so ambient mode is basically for example if you leave it onto the wall or something then it just it's just like that it's, it's just, you can't tell you can't tell it's a tv but it's not meant to it's meant to just be like a little whatever like a little thing as well so you've got your basic you've got different designs you got this thing as well so this looks very nice as well so you can see my reflection there and don't mind these little things there so we've got a little timer, we've got a little camera and a few other devices and decorations. And yeah, so we've got another thing here. And then if you can change the patterns and whatever you want to change it to, you've got your in information bar. So you've got the time, stuff like that. And let's go into a picture. you got a picture mode as well. So if you've got like a specific picture that you want to put onto there as well. You know, yes. So for example, if you want the weather instead of the time then you just got the weather itself current location partly cloudy as you can see it's very cold one degrees at this specific time sunday uh, we've got the weather here what else do we have we've got the calendar we've got the daily calendar we've got just the random board mono duo shouting sheltering tree spring you've got a lot of moving pattern moving rods mountain Water, I think when you put on water, you get the water sound as well. Let's have a look. Let me put the... I don't know if you can, guys can hear that, but let me... I think you can hear that. You should be able to hear that. So I'm just going to put that. And also the battery is quite cool as well. Let me... So this is a Samsung... Let me put that down a bit. So this is a Samsung QLED Q80 TV remote. It's quite cool. You've got your little thing here, so the battery so if you press that this this would come up and then you've got your battery in here so we haven't changed batteries it's been about just over two years and we still got you using the same battery so it doesn't use much battery and then when you press it down you should lock it and then you got your um thing here as well you can speak to it so when you press there say what you want while pressing onto the this button here so if i want to say Take me to YouTube. As you can see here, it's taken me to YouTube. But I'm not going to go into there right now. As you can see you've got quite a few things here. You've got your music and stuff like that. So we're going to exit YouTube for now. And yeah, so uh, you've got your internet, you've got your Netflix, you've got your YouTube, you've got your smart things where, uh, where you can connect it to your phone as well. So most smart things you can have it. If you have a Samsung phone, you should know what smart things is. You've got your Facebook watch, you've got your news as well. So, and you can get a few other apps as well. So I think, you should, no, this is BBC iPlayer. So there's, there's a little, let me quit that. And um, there's another bit. 
there we go apps so if, if i go into the app section there's gonna be different apps that i can get on this tv side tv hub got a few all four nfl games samsung promotion and you got a few other ones as well so you know you, different people might like different things we've got quite a few good few selections this is the downloaded apps that i've got on my tv at the moment so other people use in my house as well so these are not all mine but we've got quite a few there i didn't realize we've got this much but yeah we've got music and radios apps to kill time so let's have a look what they've got here yeah just tv series i might just you got you got games as well so let's have a look at this flying fish game let's try and install it oh you need to sign in that's long i'll just do it later on but yeah you've got mercedes tv you've got netflix you've got monkey madness you've got a few things as well and you've got ted td let's see what else they've got they've got sports video games smart view enabled news and weather smart life let's see what smart life's got for us so you've got screen size simulator market wall this might be an interesting one smart stb i'm not sure what that is so it's got, they've got quite a few things on here to be honest but yeah guys uh, this is the app store or you know the app application on the tv so let's just quit that and see what else the tv has uh obviously you've got your ambient mode you've got your apps you've got your source so if you've got different uh things plugged into the tv so you've got i think i've got my ps5 plugged into there as well so that's hdmi one i guess then i've got the normal tv you've got your settings and then you've got your notifications so uh yeah i wonder one bad thing is that it tends to keep disconnecting from the wi-fi but i think that's more of my personal wi-fi because um i've got a shit wi-fi in my house but yeah um, other than that the tv is quite good guys it's been two years since i've had it no problem no issues um it's just the internet connection but obviously I'm, i can't blame the tv for because that's my own internet and yeah the, the remote is quite cool as well so you've got your uh the button where you talk you've got your power on and off let me zoom into that and then you've got your numbers you've got your i think that's your ambient mode yeah, that's your ambient mode and then you've got your and then you've got this volume up volume down and then th this is your volume button as well so if you go up as you can see there it changes up keep going up and that's how you go down and then you've got your back button your home button if i press that it goes to home and then you want to play and pause button there you got your volume up volume down channel up channel down and that's where your battery sits and yeah that's not a camera that's just a button to press so that this bit lifts up so yeah the camera is i mean the the remote is quite cool as well this bit is just useless it would have been cool if you know this was like a little touchpad where you know you touch it and then use like a little mouse or something like that but it's just for this is where the battery sits as you can see but yeah guys that's the 75 inch sorry 65 there's a 75 inch as well but there's a 65 inch i got the 65 inch just because the 75 inch will be too big for us so i decided to go with a 65 inch um the time i got it was nearly about i think it was about three grand but the price must have gone down now uh because there's newer versions that came out so yeah if, this is pretty much it guys that's that's all the videos that uh, i mean that's all the apps and you know whatever you guys want to know i must have covered it in this video you got spotify you got deezer you got itv we don't even use deezer so i might just get that removed i think to remove it just go there and then press down remove yet yeah. remove that's how it removes successfully so that's how we see that's how easy it is to remove an app on your tv but yeah guys that's pretty much it for today's video and obviously the stand on it um we've got the samsung logo here as well and then the stand on it we've got the we went for this i think different tvs comes with different legs so we've decided to go with this one that came uh you got a different legs with it that cost as well you've got like a little stand like a art picture stand which cost about another five six hundred pounds but yeah guys that's pretty much it for you know this tv here it's quite thin as well you know the bezel is is very there's hardly any bezel as you can see it's just like not much and obviously 65 inch is not too bad obviously for a bigger home bigger tv would be better depending on if you've got space or not but 
for us we thought you know what 65 inches the perfect size we'll go for it and obviously the stand here we've got it from ikea for about i think it cost us about 120 pounds so overall uh, it wasn't that bad guys i got it two years ago and yeah so let me just go back to the home button and that's it so this has been the review for the samsung q80 tv 2018 which is the exact same as the 2020 model the, but you've got the q9 that's out now but for the Q80T, this is the TV. I'll leave a description, I'll leave a link in the description down below if I can find one for where you can get this TV. I 100% recommend this. Um, obviously, this uh, Samsung only released QLED, QLED TVs rather than OLED, OLED or OLED. So this is a QLED one, it's 4K, uh, but as well as Q LED TV, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends and families if you're looking for a TV. I recommend this one or the 75 inch if you know you've got a bigger home or more space to fit your TV. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you share it with your friends and family. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Take care and peace.